Uh, Dave's driving. Our Hiroshima Hayes. Uh, yeah, are we gonna make her there, Dave? <laughs> she's on the floor right now until she's gone. <laughs> she's yeah. time up today. Are you trying to tell me I need to lose some weight, Dave, to get in this thing to make it go faster or what? I think maybe this old girl just not a morning, morning person. <laughs> Well, the front tire's got no casing on it, eh? <laughs> Been driving this vehicle with no casing on the front tire for probably about, I don't know, about three days now. You just headed the mud bog. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, I smell the essence of gasoline out here. <laughs> like, is that us or is that oh, these guys here? I found that oh, spring you're talking about right there. Oh. That's a, not a very friendly one. Dude, what do you do to this heat, Dave? I think I would just. The brace right here, or even attach it to the door, you have a sidecar. Is that where you're gonna make me ride? You can ride it. I'll let you ride on it first. Everybody go like this down the road, eh? Somebody <laughs> two wheels. The two wheels, yeah. <laughs> I'll find some spare time later, we'll make a sidecar. Target perfect. perfect. Alright. Here's a little glimpse view of what we're doing. We're making these things amphibious. I tell you what, they're gonna be like gazelles in the water. There you go, that's all you're getting. Dad ever tell you to take and put your bicycle away? Oh, not my bike. Your bike, Dave. Oh. Hey, run over my he bike. Said, put your bike away. If you're at all curious what I'm doing down here, other than aggravating these people's lives, right here. You can see some interesting. We've got a bunch of engineers here building a floating truck. Yes. Yeah. Here's some fairly interesting. On the joint. We got a snack shack here. Take a look at this. They're getting ready for Armageddon, I think. <laughs> they got fire, they got food. They got, you know, it's this a snack shack, hey? Okay? It's like finding a food cache in the middle of the desert. Okay? Food, I'll find it. Like, how bad can it be? It's about time the engineer is starting to come out of the engineer. They're using the hammers, they can't be all that. What are you doing? What have you wrecked the mine today? <laughs> You're off to go see your mom? Yeah, I gotta go pick up the trailer too. My child getting ready to go. I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something. It involves a lot of my uh, rechargeable Milwaukee tools, which I'm not real happy about. But the nice thing about it is, is he is driving an old vehicle, so it's kind of nice. It's nice to see that they're taking the engineer out of there, beating the up with hammers, and they're using hammers, it's nice. It's why, why, why waste, why waste the what? They're making this thing into a floating truck, they're going to put these barrels on it, and set her free. Anyways guys, stay tuned for the next installment. We are just seeing what the heck you guys are doing. Uh, how's y'all sleep? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. You hit Starbucks this morning? I actually got, uh, what's it called, Uber Eats, uh, Starbucks. Yeah, it was great. It's bougie as I had to. My hotel doesn't make freaking coffee. I know. 
We got the hot plate fired up. We're gonna make some eggs over here on this. <laughs> Yep. That is nice. Homeless. Yes. This is the homeless camp, is what it is, and they've just uh, reconverted the homeless camp. We're here protesting. Yes. <laughs> we're, prote we're protesting EV vehicles here today. We'd like to uh, voice our displeasure of EVs. We're, we're trying to make remote control cars into actual transportation. It's not supposed to work that way. <laughs> And who put something in the burn barrel? And for the record, I did not do that. We didn't mean that. There's a Canadian. <laughs> hey, you're complaining about it being cold outside. We're trying to warm the atmosphere yeah, up. definitely float that. I don't know what the buoyancy is on it, but it's... The same displacement as the water, right? 8,000 pounds each, so 16,000 pounds together, ish. That's a very rough, rough, uh, simple math guy equation. I don't know, I can't argue with you, but I do know that one of these would probably float that vehicle quite nicely. Yeah. I would imagine it's probably close to, it's got 15,000 pounds of full board, full, right here. Yeah, so halfway down here, it'll float right here probably in the water line. Oh. Like what? 10,000? Maybe? Yeah, Ten maybe, maybe. They, they cut quite a bit of stuff off it, but they put a bunch more on it, so who knows? Oh, no, as far as I know, this? This, no, they're going to they're put it on an incline here, yeah. and they're going to just set the track down in the water like that to have it drive off the track. And adjust it? Yeah. I, I, I need to in the water? I guess it's possibly a little be real so if you couldn't put it down any lower and just one inch of your tracks stick in the water and you just on there floating. <laughs> See the, that's the other thing nobody knows how high this stuff's gonna float off the water how deep it is or how deep it's not gonna be so I tell you what there's all it's gonna be very interesting. Yeah. They're gonna have enough buoyancy though with those tanks. They'll go down they'll probably float about I would say I would say that they'll go in the water and they'll float halfway because that's where maximum buoyancy is, is halfway and then they can load it up and it takes a whole bunch to bring it. That's I wonder if you wanted it deeper you could just start filling those tanks with water, right? How are you going to come out though? That's a good question. I didn't think about that part yet. Yeah. I still have to get deeper. Just don't get yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's super cool man. It's just everybody's got a different idea which is really neat and you look at it and there's anything you can pick anything apart on it. But nowhere, nowhere in the rules we say the pontoons have to come out with it. They just build a, a flat deck, park the blazer on top with a ramp that comes out for when they get to the shore. They just ram the short pontoons, the ramp comes out and they drive the blazer off. That's possible. <laughs> but again, <laughs> or you start driving it and it kicks your pontoons. Exactly. Off, you go exactly like that. <laughs> It'd be a submarine build, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what. Anyways, guys. You're gonna see some neat stuff when this stuff uh, comes to light. What am I doing? Yeah. I'm looking for lunch. It's 8:30. <laughs> hey, it's never too late to eat or too early. And how many lunches do you have a day normally? I only eat probably sometimes only twice a day, sometimes three. I got to start eating a little bit more because they say it's hard on me. Why I'm so fat. Eating so more helps with. Are you that? With this? Yeah. Okay. Took a crap in the and my pants were down around my ankles and I pushed both buttons on my phone and it dialed to Jefferson or whatever county sheriff it was for 911. What? Yeah. <laughs> and then I wouldn't come off my phone. I'll tell you what, they were coming for me, man. They were coming for me. I've been going past this here Bronco for about approximately three days now and I'm finally going to go take a look at it. It's got the better of my... Uh, Interest, we'll say. The curiosity killed the cat. There's some cows, some local cows. There is all kinds of stuff in this yard. It is like a smorgasbord of goodness. 
Look, there's another chariot over there. Old corn binder traveler, I think. That is. I think I'm in heaven. This Bronco, it looks like it's discarded. I do believe that it used to be an old slaughterhouse at one time. Back in the day, and they've reconverted it, and they sell aggregate and collect stuff here. Um, we got this stairway to heaven right here. Right there. It's going vertical. Uh, I do believe the bowling alley is closed. If you ever wanted to see what was in a bowling ball, that's very interesting. Look what's in there. What's it made out of? I don't know. It looks like a weight on it. It's got finger, finger reducers. If you got smaller fingers, I guess they put some wedges in there. I don't know. But what happened to this ball? I can tell you what happened to this ball. See these holes? I think it filled full of water, it absorbed water, and that froze and blew it up. Yeah. There we have it. The specimen of the day. I couldn't resist coming over and seeing this here at Bronco. I have no idea what year it is. But I will tell you one thing, the color, the color I do believe is not, an, is not a very common color. The orange color of these Broncos, I do believe is a fairly uncommon color. I could be wrong and I'm sure somebody's gonna correct me, but I don't think it was an uncommon color. Or I should say, I don't think it was a common color. See right here? You may look at this Bronco and go, oh, what a piece of crap, but I tell you what, the biggest part of this Bronco, the door pillar posts, look at this. They're all in excellent shape. It, it, this thing is actually in really, really, really good shape. There's uh, the amount of rust on it is very minimal. I, uh, I'd like to take this Bronco home with me. It's got one fender, a little bit of chrome, unless I had a it must have been a good package because it's got some chrome on it, so. Missing the glove compartment. Windshield wipers are gone. It does have the doors. It's got an end gate on it. End gate, worth just about probably 1200 Canadian, I think, to get an aftermarket end gate. just needs it needs a spark plug and a lug nut and it'll be fine anyways look at this beautiful thing it's in good shape You gotta have dreams. <laughs> Without dreams, you have nothing. You want a bowling ball for your carry-on luggage? <laughs> Can you imagine going through customs with a bowling ball? What are you doing with that bowling ball? I'm going bowling. I tell you what, there's a lot of stuff. That's uh, some stuff. I want that Bronco. It'll fit right in my carry-on.
Anyways, heaven, guys. If you ever want to go to heaven, ever think about heaven, come here, you're in heaven. And yes, I'm getting my steps for the day. Can't you tell I'm losing weight? There must have been a lot of volcanic action around here because these rocks, they look like volcanic rocks, like this stuff over here. See how weird they're looking? They look like they're fake almost. But it looks like they're a volcanic rock. The redness of them and how they are in the round little pockmark holes in them and stuff. I could be wrong. Like I say, I two things I don't know much about. I don't know much about Chevys or rocks. See that? So weird they sound? They sound hollow. Hear that? Look at that. The aliens are coming. Show me the papers. Look, heaven. Heaven on earth, look, look, look. As far as the eye can see, stuff that needs to be fixed. Ready for a day or what? Yeah, give yeah. Me some beauty shots. Some beauty shots. I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like it like this? Like this? <laughs> like this? <laughs> Good morning. I've been looking around for three hours and I haven't found one yet. I got you. Have you had it do this yet? Yeah, I already know. I was gonna whip you up a mean bowl of mashed potatoes. That's actually really good whenever they cook. This is what we have for breakfast, guys. Take I think it's a little probably too healthy for you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. There's a reason we bring Redmond everywhere we go. Is that right, Nick? Yeah. Where else do you get fake wooden bowls? I kind of like them, actually. I really like them. Last, we did an event with them, and they brought aluminum cups. And they're kind of, they're supposed to be like disposable, but they're aluminum. And I only use those in my house now. That's what I use too. My kids you want to change your life? Uh -huh. Do the aluminum cups. Your house. I'll give you a thing. Do you I, even have cups at your house? I have one cup and, it, and one fork and one knife. Yeah. And you know what that does? Not much because you, you, know, you just kind of do this anyways, don't you? Yeah. You never get a lot of dishes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't have a dishwasher, so that doesn't. Do you have a dishwasher then? You wouldn't need one if you only have one fork, one spoon, one cup. Hey. That's why. Look at them saving. Environmentally friendly. There's one thing about this area that I've learned. There's a lot of things that are dual purpose around here. Like for instance, these wheel chocks. You got a rubber one. And then you got a salt one. That's a real live salt. I guess they mine salt around here. And this guy had a little extra and just figured he'd use it for a wheel chalk. So. can't get no purer than that. Cool. We're building some seat covers for our Hiroshima Haze. Hey. Okay. So we found this truck and it's been amazing for us to just cut around, drive around. But the problem is yesterday it rained and now our butts are getting wet. Tell them the truth, you lost the end gate out of it driving over the chicanes. I did, we need to go find it. We, yeah. it's, it's around here somewhere. What, uh, I, what, else, what else did you do to our truck? Look at this. Look at this, your insurance, the insurance is so high in this thing that I can't afford. Look at this. But that wasn't me. I got stuck in the sand and they had to push me out a little bit. The excavator bit. operator crushed our corner. No, it's not, it's not so bad. It'll buff out. This paint job here, this custom paint job. I did this myself. This is uh, one coat of clear. And it's a base coat, clear coat. It's come up pretty nice. I did that. I think this will work. Yeah, it'll work fine. 
If I can get it to stretch all the way over. That's that guy's salt I was eating. <laughs> Here. Yeah, there we go. Wind her up there. You can put a back piece on there too. Yeah. Nice. Here. Skin her on the back. Okay, wait, does that pull down? It does not. Oh, that's good enough though. Oh, perfect! Okay. Back down. There you go. You too can have some custom seat covers. Come on down. They're twelve ninety nine a set, and that's if you buy three, you get one free. <laughs> and they're a nice, pretty red. All right, I dig it. I'm being kidnapped. <laughs> Yeah, gotta love a good tow truck. It's just in your blood, man.